Patch 3.16.1 is now live in the PU for everyone to experience, but this footage will be from the PTU. CIG have been pumping out patches pretty fast lately, so this footage is a couple patches old. Since this footage, there have been a couple polish passes, and trip mines should be in more places. I'm Voidwalker Joe, and this is a Suli patch update. Today, I'll be sharing my first experience with the new derelict sites and the new secrets that they hold. Going into your Moby Glass, you will see missions such as Missing Crew, Black Box, Cargo Retrieval, and Time Delivery. Currently, there are 12 different crash sites spread across nine different moons, and the two I've found were on Yella and Walla. These crash sites all consist of caterpillar wreckages, and the next iteration of these will be expanded to different ships and locations. The first site I want to show off is on Yella, which I want to point out didn't have any trip mines in this state. But it is possible it will in 3.16.1 when it goes live sometime this week. For anybody that doesn't know or any new players out there, Yella is a frozen ice encrusted moon orbiting crusader and was discovered in 2851 and in 2907 Wilma Irvy made the first permanent homestead on Yella. The original jump town location also resides on a crater here, which is one of the best dynamic events to participate in right now. Something I really enjoyed were the electrical components sparking in various locations, which we haven't seen before. And I'm really excited to see where they go with this in the future. The next crash site I introduce you to is on a moon called Walla. And there, you will see one of the puzzles you solve is the rerouting of power from door panels to get into a compartment which blew me away when I first discovered it. Something you will notice is the Caterpillar Rex broke apart into every weak point on the ship, which is the intersections which each module joins together and in most of them will be hiding loot boxes and puzzles preventing you getting to them. Now, these puzzles require the tractor beam attachment for the multi-tool, which you can buy on any major city or cargo center on space stations. There is a black box mission that did not pop up for me. Instead, it had another name, but that blinking box is in fact the black box you would have to retrieve. But I have a different objective, and that's to get some volatile cargo in a different module. Something to look for to help you on your way are glow sticks. Just like their purpose in cave missions, they give you a clue where to go next. So definitely head for those. A problem I've been having is my multi-tool automatically being put away every time I take it out and use it. And what I found was that this happens every time I climb up a box with the multi-tool out. When this happens, press I to bring up your inventory, click on the multi-tool and drag it back into your armor inventory, then close by pressing the escape key. Open up your inventory again and then drag your multi-tool back onto you. Then voila, you're back on your way to playing box Tetris Star Citizen style. Or you can just hold R to unequip your multi-tool and climb the box without it, like any sane person would do. The only way to get to this loot box was using my multi-tool and positioning the box through this hole. That's the only way to get it out. The loot you get are all things you can already buy in-game. So hopefully, what I'd like to see is rare loot which can't be bought in-game, but only found. The only items we have in-game that can't be bought is the red Hurston guard armor which can only be found during bunker missions and really only differs from the version that can be bought is the color. The other item is at a location on an asteroid field called Benny Henge which you can loot a guy's broken helmet and I highly recommend you visit as it is honestly one of the most enjoyable spots in SC that I have found to date.
I was hoping that these door panels would open some shipping containers, but that isn't functional yet. You're going to want to dig in every nook and cranny of these wreck sites, because there are loot boxes everywhere. Now I don't want to spoil the whole experience of this wreck site, but I hope this kind of gets you guys excited to see what they will do with these in the future. Better loot, more traps and guards, fire extinguishers to put out uncontrollable fires, power distribution, and more. I want to say thank you guys for watching the video, and if you liked it, please subscribe. And now for the next crash site, I won't do much talking, so just sit back and enjoy the view. Welcome to the Walla Crash Site.